rated PG-13. Hi, welcome to Man Cave TV. I'm Maurice. And I'm Ray. And in this week's episode, how the world looks at us Dutch. Oh God, please help us. I thought you were an atheist like me. Oh, that's right. Man Cave. I tell you what I've also learned. I've learned that the Dutch are the politest people on the planet, especially in an audience. Are there any Dutch people here? See, they're so polite there could be five at the back going, yes, but I don't want to interrupt. Hmm, so here we are seen as very considerate human beings. <laughs> what are you smirking at? This came from a British guy with a posh English accent, so therefore it must be true. Yeah, and our names are also very funny to him. Just imagine her parents at the birth going, well, our last name's Hyman, what should we call our daughter? I don't know, how about Misty? Won't that be kind of embarrassing? Well, her brother Rusty doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> mm, good thinking, Dick. That was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> so I said this to a Dutch audience who laughed a bit, but not a lot. They laughed polite. They laughed like this. They went, ha ha. <laughs> uh, we didn't get it either. Nope. So this is where he explains to us stupid Dutch what a hymen is. I don't know if you've ever tried to explain a hymen to a 30-year-old Dutch man. I got there using some cling film and a pen. <laughs> oh, we call it maagdenvlies. Which in English freely translates as a virgin membrane. We don't call a piece of vagina after America's biggest registered sex offenders. Marcus Hyman. Yeah. And they call us stupid. Huh? Well, the strange thing about the English language is that we have a lot of insult Double Dutch. lines about the Dutch. Dutch courage is alcohol. Mm -hmm. Double Dutch, a Dutch auction, a Dutch wife, all these phrases. And yet... What's the Dutch wife? It's a sort of um, plastic inflatable woman. <laughs> Notice, but apparently we are great inventors. So we invented the submarine and we tested it in the waters of England. So the Beatles need to pay us royalties. Exactly. We're, We're all stuck, stuck in the yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We are all stuck in the yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. So what else did we invent? Of course we invented this. Every Dutch person knows this. We actually invented it for the Germans, as this German explains to we us. We are envious of the Dutch. You might think, why? But I'll tell you why. Uh, according to research, the penis size of an average Dutch man is one centimeter longer than the penis size of an average German. Ah, uh, yeah we do. An American tries to explain to us how to be Dutch and, and makes himself look like a dick. Wear that stupid looking hat with a feather in it. I'm wearing this to the club. Uh, that hat is as Dutch as this one. Try to explain to a fucking American the difference between Dutch and Deutsch. Hey, Ray, I've got a hat that makes you look no! No, 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 no! <laughs> so now we know what the fucking Yanks, the Brits, and the cocky... Uh, more like small peckered Germans. Think about us. But what do the Africans think about us? 
Well, we used to organize all-inclusive cruises from Africa to the US, so I'm pretty sure they dig us. Netherlands? No, it's a country in Europe, but other than that, I don't know much about it. Netherlands, it's a country. Hmm. I would have hoped for some more recognition. After all, we gave you the wonderful African language. Yes, and in the 17th and 18th century, we battled your overpopulation. And in the 1980s, with the severe drought, we sent you milk powder. Uh, Ray, how are you supposed to turn the milk powder into milk without water? It's the thought that counts, Maurice. Jeez. Uh, first of all, I think about snow. Here in the Netherlands, I think about snow, uh, bridge and technology. Whoa! Snow, baby! Yeah, snow! Oh, most drugs are legal for consumption over here. And we are indeed trying to build bridges to get the drugs moved into other countries. Yes, you are well informed, dear sir. Woo! You didn't know that? Um, but to me, it, uh, it isn't normal. Right. Right. Hi, I'm Alice. Welcome to Canna Cafe. Today, I'm going to be showing you my special recipe of can of butter. It's a great tool to have in your kitchen anytime you want to cook with cannabis. Just pull it out of the refrigerator, spread it on a piece of toast, whip up some cookies, anything you want. Cannabis butter. Really? Okay, I'm a Dutch guy, and like any Dutch guy, I have smoked weed since the age of four. Because it's our rite of passage into grade school. But I don't know what to do with this shit. I do. We smack it on a bun, so this awesome Dutch burger. They say the burgers are 100% vegan. Well, of course it is. Yeah, nothing like a good smoke afterwards. Yeah, man. And this is why we invented the clock in the first place. Not to wear. Who would wear these? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Ah, come on. Like. Share and subscribe. Till next week with Man Cave. And don't forget, Pasty Dutchie. Dutchie man. <sighs> Why do we pass the Dutchie when we got one each, man? Stop asking complicated questions, man, and Pasty Dutchie. <laughs> <laughs>